Hi everybody. Um, if you saw yesterday's video, I mentioned I came across this path. Let me show it to you. And there's no signs that say keep out. There's no no trespassing signs. It's um kind of place I think you really got to pay attention to your surroundings. So anyhow, I figured I'd walk out of ways and see what we can find. So come on, let's go. Well, if somebody's been here, there's a bottle. Duck, no bridge. Ooh, duck again. Well, looks like in the rainy season there's a lot of water back in here. come to a dead end. Let's see. Nope, we did not. <laughs> well, there you go. If you want to go way out in the woods, there's a, there's a for sale sign. I don't know if anybody would ever find it out here. Goodness. Something moving in there. I think it was a rabbit. Heard it again. Usually when you hear rabbits, it's like a little, you can hear a little short movement, short movement, short movement. Where other animals, you can hear them just moving through the woods. And as I've always said, when you go out hiking, you're going out in the woods, wear long pants. It's 90 degrees today. I didn't put them on and I'm already getting bitten up and chewed up. All right. Ooh. Okay, so we have come to an end. Is there something through there? No, not really a path. Oh, we can go this way. Okay. Oh, poison ivy. I don't know if I walked through that. I must have. That's poison ivy. That's always Always something to look out for when you're out in the woods. Poison ivy. Okay. What have we got here? Well, as you can see, we have now come to a dead end. 
Um, there's no path through there anywhere that I see. So I'm going to turn around and start heading back. All right, well, five minute walk in, I guess that was about it. But it's nice, it's quiet, it's peaceful. Nobody out here because we are in the middle of the COVID-19 quarantine. So, staying in the house is fine. Being out here where there is nobody, not a soul, you're pretty much safe out here. As I'm, oops, what do we got here? Oh, it was a shell. It was, it was shining, it looked like a dog tag. So, as I've mentioned in other videos, the island's pretty much closed. The beaches are open. All the parking lots, all the paid parking lots are closed. There is no on-street parking any place on the island, so if you're a visitor, you have to be um, more poison ivy. I hope I didn't walk through all that, too. If you're a visitor, you have to be staying in a hotel somewhere, or you're not going to... Uh, you're not going to be able to make it to the beach. And I haven't been across the causeway yet, but I understand the Causeway Island Park is closed. So if you thought about coming through and going to that, nope, you're not going to do it. If you're coming over for any reason, the Causeway toll booths are closed. You just go right through and they will bill you. They will send you a bill for six dollars and probably a handling fee in the mail. All right, I'm just about out because I hear traffic. All right, I'm gonna go down and show you the beach. I'll be right back. And here's what the streets look like today. If you look down either way, there's no cars out here. That's Sand Cap Road down at the end. There's no cars out there. It is quiet. And poof, just like that, through the magic of digital photography, we leave the shade of the woods and we are out on the warm Sanibel beaches. The water's warm. As you can see, it's pretty rough today. And take a look. There is one guy behind me sitting under an umbrella. And pretty much that is all that I have seen so far. Even the Pelicans are doing social uh, distancing. You can see how far they are spread apart out there. A lot of times when I'm out in the woods, I show you tracks. We'll see tracks from deer. We'll see tracks from odds and ends. But look at those tracks, huh? Can you see them? Can you see them right there going that way? And there's one going that way. Yeah, we had a human out here. Oh my god. Looks like we had two humans out here. Two trucks going the same way. And of course, while I'm out here, I'm looking for shells. Flipper, it's a pretty, pretty large one. I keep that. I've got um, a lot of these at home. I collect them when I get both halves. And if they're still together, I put a little drop of super glue right there, right here. 
and open them or close them, whichever, however I want them, and that way I don't have to worry about them coming apart. It seems to work pretty good. that bird he didn't like me being on the beach he was telling me about it he didn't get off of my beach okay the humans are still walking the same way we're going I don't see any tracks where they've turned them turned around and going back all right we're going to be stuck here for a while. I've been calling places, trying to go somewhere with the motorhome. Um, all state parks are closed. All federal law parks are closed. Uh, all, a lot of the mom and pop parks are closed. So there's really no place to go with it. And I don't want to be spending my time in Walmart parking lots. So we are here on the island till further notice. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed our little hike, my little walk on the beach, and maybe tomorrow I'll take you with me to go to Walmart. I know that sounds exciting. All right. We'll see you next time. Oh, and if you haven't, please subscribe. Please, please, please. And leave a message. Just say hi. Any kind of message. It gives me something to do while I'm sitting at home. I get to respond to all your messages. All right, everyone. We will see you on the next video. Be careful out there, be safe, don't do anything stupid, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.